most of the people in our culture, they think if we have a child with a disability, it's a curse. They, be, they don't belong to the community, they belong somewhere else. Mama will be back just now, 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 okay, my boy? My name is Noma Sango Abanisa. I'm a founder and the director of Sibongile Day Night Care Center. It's a center for children with different disabilities. The reason why I started the center, it was because of my, of my daughter, she had a cerebral palsy. The center was started in 2005 in a small 45 square meter room that I owned. From there, I, I approached Breadline Africa, containers so that these was will accommodate more children. We have 52 children at Sibungi. Now I have four homes. Three is the one that children slept there 24 hours. It's a 24 hourly service. But the, one, the other one is a daycare center. Some people, they don't have, have places to send their children because there is few places in Kailisha to look after children with the disability. Green, clever boy. The fundamental problem with cerebral palsy is in fact a, a problem with the brain that occurred very early on in brain development where there is something has, has damaged an area of the brain which is not recoverable and as a result of that damage there is a degree of motor disabilities. He started walking last year when he was 12 years old. So what I'm doing is doing functional exercises with him to get his legs even stronger. So that will help him to walk longer. It will help with sitting and standing. Yes, and down. Go, 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 go. Yes, perfect. And straight. There is improvement already we can see. So I don't think it's going to be this year, but if we go on working with him like this, definitely I think he will be able to walk in the future. Stigma in any neurological condition is high because it generally is not well understood and that holds for populations across the socio-economic and cultural spectrum. Sibangile give people tools to manage these conditions which are difficult and often very overwhelming. She's like an angel from God. She's following her name now, opening the door for us, those who are in need. It makes me feel blessed to see Sibongile growing. I'm very much happy. When I see them progressing and then Sibongile people are doing good, they know how to, how to look after the children. I feel good because they know that I'm, I'm their mother. <laughs>